what up what up what up wagwan today i am going to be making some sweet pepper cake or bell pepper cake or capsicum cakes whatever you want to call it that's what we're going to prepare today it is going to be simple very healthy and delicious so here i have a very nice sweet pepper or bell pepper whatever you want to call it see how nice and colorful this is and i was wondering what am i going to do with this nice bell pepper so i decided to make these sweet pepper cakes so what we're going to do we're going to just cut them into like half inches And we want to remove the seeds awesome so now we're gonna remove the seeds and I already washed these you want to make sure that you wash them nicely okay This is very, very healthy and delicious. And I'm doing this one especially for Chef Ricardo cooking. Lovely. These look beautiful. You can use any bell pepper, any color of your choice, or you can use multiple colors. You can use green, a piece of green, a piece of red really to your choice okay so our bell peppers are ready so now we're going to shred our carrot This is going to be a lovely, lovely, lovely recipe. So what I am doing after I shred my carrots, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to give these a chop just to get them, just to get them smaller. So I used um, half of a carrot. Lovely. So we're going to put this right here. And what we're going to do now, we are going to cut up some of our bell peppers. So I'm going to cut this. So you just want to cut them up nicely in cubes, okay? Lovely. And I'm going to go in with some onion. And I'm just going to dice my onions. Just gonna add that over here and I have one chili pepper I'm just gonna go in with my chili so 
So I'm going in with half of my chili pepper. And here I have some spinach that I'll be cutting up as well. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're just going to combine all of our prepared vegetables. Now that we have everything in our bowl, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And I'm going to add some garlic with parsley salt. And you don't have to use a garlic with parsley salt. If you don't have this, you can use some garlic salt or you can just add some salt for taste. And I'm going in with about half teaspoon and what we're gonna go in with now we're gonna go in with two tablespoons of flour and I'm using all-purpose flour I'm gonna go in with two eggs And what you're gonna do now, you just wanna combine this together. So I just added one more tablespoon of my all-purpose flour because you want to have a nice thick consistency. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we are going to go to our stove and we are going to get these ready. Okay, so here I have my skillet and I have some oil, some vegetable oil. So what we're going to do now, we're going to add our bell pepper rings. Then we're going to start filling them. And you want to have this on low heat, okay? So you want to make sure that this is cooking slowly on low heat until one side is nice and golden and then we're going to flip them over, okay? Okay guys, so I flip them over and I'm allowing the other side to get golden as well. They are looking absolutely amazing. They smell so good. Alright, so they are completed. They are looking lovely. They are looking awesome. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to plate these. Um, you have an option of using some mozzarella cheese on this if you don't want your cheese you don't have to but you can melt some cheese on top so here I just have some hot pepper on the side that I'm just gonna use for garnish and some fresh parsley If you like my recipe and you like my channel, please hit that subscription button, turn on your post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Until next time, God bless you all.